Hi, I'm Vincent Mo. I'm an engineering manager at Google, and I have a productivity tip for you. And it's uh, in the way that I handle my to-do list. So actually I have three tips uh, on how I handle to-do lists. The first one is I use one to-do list. So instead of having to-dos spread around a, a list, and then my email has some things that I need to do, and then my calendar has a list of things I need to do, uh, and I have things written down on paper. I keep everything in one to-do list, and everything that I have to do is written down there. That way I can focus on just one list and I don't have to worry about, is there something I forgot to do that's written down somewhere else? So just one list is the first tip. The second tip is, Every to-do I put on the list is small. I can do it in one day. So if I put something on my to-do list that's a month-long project, how do I know if I've made any progress? Uh, maybe I get to the end of the month and I haven't done anything. If I make each to-do very small and doable within a day, then I can make sure I'm making progress every day. And when I finish one to-do, that reminds me to write the next thing I have to do. So uh, then I don't have to think about the whole project all at once, but I can focus on actionable things that I can do that day. The third thing is to keep the list short. Um, I like to keep a to-do list for each day. And uh, actually I keep mine on paper, a small piece of paper. So when the list starts getting long, I know that I'm getting to the limit of how much I can do that day. And that reminds me that when I start getting adding too many things for one day, it reminds me to go to the next day. I'll schedule something to be done tomorrow because I know that I'm, I've am i already asked myself to do too much for this day. And so having a, a, having a to-do list that's short and that's written on paper helps me to stay realistic, make sure my goals are realistic. And also, as each day passes, I turn the page and now it's the next day. So if there's anything that I didn't finish the, the previous day, naturally it goes away. Only the things that I consider to be high, high enough priority to write again on the next day will follow me to the next day. Otherwise, uh, I don't have to stress about things that uh, didn't get done and don't need to get done. Each day I make the decision of whether something I didn't do the previous day is important enough to write, uh, write again on the next day. So the, those are the three, three tips. Uh, one is only use one to-do list. Two is keep each to-do very short and doable in a day. And three is to keep the to-do list for each day short and realistic. And I find that this helps me to stay focused, to actually do to-dos more effectively and also to stay low stress because I only have to look at this many things on each day. So hopefully that helps you. Thanks.